We're here today on campus uh, outside the Rural Economic Outlook Conference. Kim, what are you talking about today with them? About what we're going to talk about over the next few minutes. All right, well, let's jump right into it. Uh, the USDA just released their October WASD. How's that looking? Well, I think there was a surprise or two in that. Uh, wheat, oh, probably neutral there. You've got uh, the ending stocks lowered slightly a bit. I think if there's any news, it's hard red winter wheat ending stocks. They lowered them to 311 million bushels. That's down from 347 last month. That's significant, I think, price-wise for a hard red winter wheat. You look at the world, 10.2 billion bushels. The market was expecting 10.4, so not much there. You look at corn, uh, the uh, USDA came in with any stocks at 1.5 billion. Market was expecting 1.4, so that's bearish for corn prices there. The world, 11.9 billion bushel. The market was expecting 1.8. Now, that's the same 100 million bushels missing in both of those. So uh, probably negative for corn a little bit. Beans was a surprise. They raised U.S. ending stocks for beans up to 320 million bushels, up from 300. The world at 3.84, they expected 3.7. If there's any surprise in this report, it was in soybeans. So what kind of impact is that having on Oklahoma's crop prices? Well, as you'd expect, uh, wheat prices, they were up about a nickel, just continued to waller around. Corn prices fell about a dime, so not much impact there. Corn prices tend to be moving a little lower there, and so they just continue to. But on soybeans, in two days after that, you had a 45 cent decline in, in, uh, in soybean prices. So the big impact was in soybeans. Where will prices go from here? Well, now that's the $60,000 question. Uh, any given day, the, the equilibrium price or the price of that day, the next day there's a 50% chance that prices are going up and a 50% chance prices are going down. I think it's going to have little impact on wheat. I think they'll just continue to trade in probably a 30 to 40 cent price range. Corn prices are trend, have a slight downtrend. I think those prices will continue, but probably stay in the current range of prices that we have. Soybeans is in a downtrend. We don't know when that's going to stop. And, and this report supports that downtrend in beans. So I think you're looking at lower bean prices. They'll stabilize probably in the next couple of weeks though. So looking forward, what kind of changes do you expect in the markets? Well, there's a lot going on in the markets. You look at what's happening in t transportation. Uh, I've been watching the uh, ocean freight. It's more than doubled. Uh, that has been coming down. So freight has been coming down. You've got the shortage of, uh, of dock workers to unload uh, and you've got ships backed up. Uh, if that got it, problem got alleviated, then the transportation charges would go down. Uh, wheat prices uh, could go up and you could deliver uh, more efficiently. You look at what's going on in Russia, they have less production this year, but they have more flour milling wheat. There's a lot of uncertainty going on around the world, and I think we're going to continue to see 20 to 30 cent moves in a single day in wheat, possibly in corn, and for sure in soybeans. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Kim Anderson, grain marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.